You are listening to Asheville FM at WSFMLP 103.3 Asheville. Coming up next is Radioactive Kids. Radioactive Kids broadcast from the occupied lands of the Chalagi people, also known as the Cherokee. Gonna start fading off here because we got a lot of stuff to get to. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Radioactive Kids, broadcasting from Asheville FM to Asheville and the world. I am Sagan, and we have two hours of amazing independent kids music for y'all coming right up. We have an interview with Beppy coming up at nine thirty. Uh, she'll be chatting about her brand new album Reset, so I can't wait for that. We also have brand new music by. Uh, Again, again, Roly Poly Guacamole, Little Miss Ann, Ashley Mills Monaghan, and a whole lot more. So stay tuned. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Let's start off, however, with uh, something very exciting. Ants on a Log has a new album that is coming out on May 31st, and it is amazing. Uh, the album is called Rainbow Seekers. And we're going to play a few songs from it right now, even though it hasn't been released yet. So you heard it here first, folks. This song is the title track, and it's called Rainbow Seekers. Stay tuned, y'all. We have a lot, and I mean a lot, of great stuff coming right up on Radio Active Kids. And rainbow colors in your neighborhood Do not panic, do not fear We're the rainbow seekers and we are here Rainbow seekers ready Rainbow seekers unite Rainbow seekers, we got the power To make the rainbow bright So pull out your cape and lace up your sneakers We'll teach you how to be a rainbow seeker when your rainbow is gone and you don't know where to go, where to go. When your world is gray and you're afraid to let your true self show. When everything around you has turned to white and black, your rainbow's missing. You gotta get your Seekers and we are here. Rainbow seekers, 
wonder what really happened. The history of blue and pink. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them tell you what to think. Wonder what really happened. The history of blue and pink. Not so long ago, all the moms were told, dress your boys in pink clothes. Yes, you girls in blue clothes. Pink was so strong. Danny Blue was calm. All the catalogs sang the song. It wasn't pink to belong. Only boys were strong with pink to belong. People went along and they missed things. When they listening? listening, all this blue and pink, not what you think, make you want to think. Wait a minute, we know what this is. Wink, wink. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them tell you what to think. Wonder what really happened. The history of blue and pink. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them tell you what to think. Wonder what really happened. The history of blue and pink. It's the man to complicate the plan. In 19 Boys wear blue. Girls wear pink. All of the stores know you need more. They're saying that girl can't wear what her older brother wore. You gotta buy two, one pink, one blue. The advertising straight to you. Consume, consume. We assume we gotta purchase it soon and play the tune of a color to decorate the boys' room. Don't let them fool you. You know it's made up. It's clearly arbitrary. Wonder what really happened. Who's telling you to wear what? It's kind of scary. Don't let them fool you. I was trying to tell you what color is for you. We reclaim taking it back. I know you do. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them tell you what to think. Wonder what really happened. The history of blue and pink. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them tell you what to think. Wonder what really happened. The history of blue They got a pet rock and they're gonna bring their magic stones. River's coming over, I am so excited. I'm gonna sing while they play their guitar. River's coming over, I just can't wait yet. We've got a band and we are rock stars. Don't wanna stand in any line that's just for girls or boys. River told me. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Ants on a log, people. Ants on a log, y'all. Yum, 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 I love a tasty dinner 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 Yum, y
taste that. Yum, 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 I love the tasty dinner. Yuck, 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 this dinner tastes that. One fateful night, I had a lovely dinner. It was the best thing I ever did taste. One dreadful night, I had a yucky dinner. It was the worst, it was a big disgrace. was there.
<laughs> that was The Library Ghost by uh, Roly Poly Guacamole. That is a brand new song by them from their new EP, uh, their new two song EP. We heard the other song from the EP as well. Um, called yum 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 i love a tasty dinner um yeah the, both of those songs feature dean jones who is everywhere in independent kids music um yeah pretty awesome stuff by holy <laughs> holy guacamole i love it uh before that we heard three songs by ants on a log from their album that is not out yet called rainbow seekers we heard rivers coming over the history of pink and blue which features um Alphabet Rockers on vocals right there. And we started the show off with Rainbow Seekers, the title track by Ants on a Log. I am Sagan. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. And I hope you're enjoying the show so far. Um, Yeah. So let's get jazzy now. I got a new album by a brand new artist named Mel and Friends. They just released their debut album called Swing Set Serenade. And get this, they sent it to me on vinyl. So we're going to play a few songs from it right now. This first song I'm going to play is the title track, Swing Set Serenade on Radioactive Kids. Let's go! It's always a special thing. A potluck picnic? I'm feeling potlucky today. There's garden fresh tomato turnovers and pickled eggplant pepper pie. Cool! Ruth couscous and gooseberry a 
upside down cake. A rainbow lemonade ready made and a mocha almond milk shake. A picnic in the shade. Now we've played with the geese at the park lake. Lay a blanket on the ground, run around, then relax and partake. I'll bring my favorite food to share with you, and you'll do the same for me. For me. We'll take a walk on a lark around the park. We're wonderful company. Here at the picnic, I want my hamster. Here at the picnic, and my goldfish. Here Let's at the picnic, goldfish. Yeah. Okay. I am now going to flip the record over and play a song on the other side. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, ready? I'm flipping it. Oh, it's, it's happening. It's happening. Live in studio. Whee! It flipped. Now I have to figure out which song to play. It's number three. One, two, three. Let's see if I can get it in the right spot. Let's see if this is good. <laughs> Oh yeah. Up on the top of the bunk of the big bunk bed. Up on the top of the bunk, be careful not to bump your head. In your bed so way up high, it seems like you can touch the sky. When you're up on the top of the bunk of your big bunk bed. Down on the bottom of the bunk of the big bunk bed. Down on the bottom of the bunk, be careful not to bump your head. Let your imagination fly, it's easy if you really try. When you're down on the bottom of the bunk of your big bunk bed. I was on my swing set 
in my backyard just to swing in When mom told me to bring in all my toys and get ready for bed What did you do? I did what she said I put my toys back in my room and put on my pajamas The yellow like bananas went across the hallway and I washed my face Brushed my teeth and combed my hair back into place Bedtime used to bother me I'd rather be outside instead But with some imagination I can change my situation in my big bunk bed on the top of the bunk, a big bunk bed Up on the top of the bunk, be careful not to bump your head Let your imagination fly, it's easy if you really try When you're up on the top of the bunk, of your big bunk bed Trip and then I'm flying in a supersonic rocket ship faster than the speed of light. But nothing goes faster than the speed of light. Next minute, I'm high atop a mountain doing battle with a blizzard. Or maybe I'm a wizard sitting in a castle watching dragons fly underneath a purple sky. Now bedtime's a wonderful time. It's just like my mama said. Cause with my imagination, I can take a great vacation in my big bunk bed. Down on the bottom of the bunk of the big bunk bed Down on the bottom of the bunk Be careful not to bump your head Let your imagination fly It's easy if you really try When you're down on the bottom of the bunk of your big bunk bed Inside a cave and I'm exploring It's never ever boring And then I'm on the water in a submarine Looking at the fishies that I've never seen And then I'm in a carriage Riding right beside a river And when I see a sliver of the silver moon And it's shining bright Oh, what a beautiful night Now bedtime's a wonderful time Dreams are running through my head Sweet dreams I'm having fun but getting sleepy My imagination keeps me in my big bunk bed Up at the top or the bottom of the bunk Big bunk bed Having fun either way At the end of the day It's great to finally rest your head With your dreams to help you fly The night time quickly passes by Whether the bottom or the top The fun never seems to stop When you're laying at the bottom or the top The fun never seems to stop When you're laying at the bottom or the top of your To little red, she will take you at your word and remember what she heard. Little red riding hood doesn't understand metaphor. You gotta believe me when I say there is only one way for little red, literally. Did I ever tell you about the time Little Old Red came over to my house and said she wanted to learn to knit? No, you never told me about this. I said, sure, I can show you. I'll show you the ropes. She said, wait, you have to knit with ropes? Oh, and I said, no, 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 that's just an expression. It means I'll show you how it's done. Now come on, grab some yarn and I'll show you how to knit. Oh, that sounds like Little Old Red for sure. You know, one time I was hanging out with Little Old Red and my brother. He had a new tennis racket, and I said, that must have cost you an arm and a leg. Uh-huh. She just about fell off her chair. Oh, I bet she did. She said, whose arm and whose leg? <laughs> That's terrible. She was getting all freaked out, and I said, whoa, 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 you're making a mountain out of a molehill. Oh, no. Yeah, she said, I am not. I don't even have a shovel. How could I make a mountain out of a molehill? <laughs> and then my brother said to me, now you've opened up a can of worms. <laughs> At this point, she was so confused. Oh. You know, she was looking all over for the can. She's looking for the can? I said, that's just an expression. You gotta relax. Chill out a bit. Oh, literal red. And then she said, you're right. Hold on a minute. She walked out of the room and came back a minute later with some ice packs. Oh, she's trying to chill out. Huh? Yeah, and she stuck those ice packs all over herself. <laughs> and then she started shivering. I mean, you gotta really watch what you say around here. <laughs> 
Oh, one time I just said, hey, little red, how's it hanging? Oh, no, what's she doing? She's looking all up, up and down. How's what hanging? <laughs> little red riding hood, strolling through your neighborhood. You gotta be careful what you say, our little red. She will take you at your word and remember what she heard. A little old red riding hood doesn't understand metaphor. You gotta believe me when I say there is only one way for little red, literally. One day I ran into literal red. Well, not literally ran into her. I, I know the difference. But I ran into literal red, and I said, Hey, literal red, what's up? Oh, oh I bet she looked up in the sky, right? Uh, that's right. That's so literal. Yep. One time I was with literal red riding hood, and it was a dark, kind of rainy day, and she put on her sunglasses. I, I bet you can't guess why. Oh, what, what did you say? You say something about it being a brilliant idea or something like that? <laughs> exactly. Oh. I said I got a brilliant idea. <laughs> you know, the other day, she brought me over all this cheese. It was all sliced up. And uh, I think it was something her dad said to her yeah. about cutting the cheese. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Little red riding hood Strolling through your neighborhood You gotta be careful what you say to little red Or she will take you at your word And remember all she heard Ah, little red riding hood Doesn't understand metaphor Or five Ah, you gotta believe me when I say There is only one way Little Red, literally. I'm trying to think of a good pseudonym for me. I'm trying to think of a good pseudonym. for me, Shane? I do. I have a whole bunch. How about fuzzy? Ah, that's weird. I'm not sure about that. All right, here's one. Lightning. Oh, no. No, I have to hide under the bed for lightning. It's not as frightening if I say lightning. Lightning. Oh, I like it, but there's already Lightning Hopkins, you know, the blues singer. Oh, man, you're right. How about fingers? I do play the piano. I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, space case. What do you mean by that? Like, I'm spacey? <laughs> How about deuce? Deuce, yeah. I kind of uh, like... Actually, actually, no, no, no. Actually, what? maybe that's too cool for you. Oh, come on. <laughs> How about muscles? How about wimpy? <laughs> Wait, we went from muscles to wimpy. What? How about zipper? Oh, yeah, I guess I could fly with that, maybe. Uh, get it? <laughs> oh, dice? Uh, I might be able to roll with that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should sing it again. You want to sing it? Okay, yeah. I'm trying to think of a good pseudonym for me. How about cowboy? I feel like I'm more of a dog boy or horse boy, rabbit boy. How about flicker? Flicker? I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stay away with anything that ends in er. How about staples? Staples. You, you think you could keep it together? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't think I want to be staples, no. <laughs> How about thrasher? It sounds a little serious for me. How about smiles? Not quite serious enough for me. Boy, this is tough, isn't it? It is tough. What about flouncy? Flouncy? Did you just make that up? <laughs> Let's, uh, we'll put that on the long list. <laughs> oh, I got one. How about bananas? I don't feel like that. Rocky? Uh, that's a little uncomfortable for me. What about sparks? Ooh, that's kind of sparky, I guess. Uh, how about tickles? <laughs> no. Oh, this is really hard. Okay, let's play the song again. I'm giving up. Forget the pseudonym. Don't give up. Forget the pseudonym for me. Oh, wow. 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 Uh, 
You know what, Shane? I think I'm just going to make up a nickname. Well, that might be a better idea. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, Froggins and Bug, which is a side project of a couple folks from the band Dog on Fleas. Including Dean Jones. Um, <laughs> yes, there's Dean Jones is everywhere in kidney music. I, I'm, I'm t- telling you. Um, it's been a few years since we've played that, uh, and it's so much fun uh, that I figured we should play a couple songs from it again. That's from their one and only album, Desert Island. We heard Pseudonym and Literal Red Riding Hood on Radioactive Kids. It's a very s- silly album. Uh, before that, we heard three songs by Mel and Friends from their debut album swing set serenade on vinyl we heard bunk bed ruth's couscous and a swing set serenade the title track i am saying this is radioactive kids if you want to you can check the show out on facebook and instagram but that is not required at all and i am glad you are listening thanks so much for listening um let's move on to more new music this is a new single by top of the bus it's called the mother's day song m u m m y on radioactive kids there is a person that i love and mommy is her name oh m u m m y Like bunnies? Hop like a bunny, hop, hop, 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 hop up high, hop down low, hop real fast, now hop real slow. Should we crunch on our carrots? Crunch on your carrot, crunch, crunch. 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 Crunch up high, crunch down low. Crunch real fast, now crunch real slow. Crunch up high, crunch down low. Crunch, 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 now stop. Should we wag our cotton tails? Wag your cotton tail, wag, wag. 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 Wag up high, wag down low. Wag real fast, now wag real slow. Wag up high, wag down low. Wag, 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 now stop. Crunch on your carrot, stop. Hop like a bunny. Hop, hop, hop.
take a scarf and wear it like a beard. Wear it like a beard. Wear it like a beard. Take a scarf and wear it like a beard. Now throw it in the air and catch it. Wave it round and round and around. Now freeze. Wave it around and around and around. Now freeze. Now throw.
That was your Wizard Rock of the Week, Harry, My Son, by Newts from their album The Battle on Radioactive Kids. Before that, we heard a brand new single by Birdie called Who Do You Love? And we heard two new singles by Ashley Mills Monaghan. We heard The Scarf Song and Hop Like a Bunny. We started that set off with the Mother's Day song M-U-M-M-Y by Top of the Bus on Radioactive Kids. If you would like to request a song for an upcoming edition of Radioactive Kids, please feel free to give the station a call at 828-259-3936. That's 828-259-EZFM if you're listening live on Saturday mornings. And if you're not listening live on Saturday mornings, just send me an email anytime at sagan at ashevillefm.org. That's S-A-G-A-N. All right, folks, we have more new music to get to. I'm very excited about this next set. Um, Again, Again has a new single out featuring Mr. Cookie Jar. It's called Thank You, Teacher. And here it is on Radioactive Kids. Some days I don't want to get dry. Some days I'm a complete mess. Some days I don't want to go. 
hard. Those mornings with a real rough start. The days that just don't feel so cool. Lodi. In Portugal, by the sandy shore, there's a magical place we all adore. With cliffs so steep on the edge of the sea, flying like a bird, weightless and free. Come take my hand, be brave with me. Come take my hand, be brave. Shines down 
free. Come take my hand, be brave with me. Come take my hand, be brave. Ronnie Boy. Should we jump in the water? Will it bring us joy? Well, there's a lot we can do, but if you're feeling kind of scared, I'm worried, big bro. I got you. We're prepared. Follow me. Okie. One, two, three, hey. You can jump in it, sand dump with it, catch shrimp, hey, bubble gum with it. Starfish freeze, just clump with it. Ocean marinara, calamari, dump with it. Get sunk with it, treasure chest, trunk with it. Storks dropping low, watch them go plump with it. Do the hermit crab, slump, slump with it. On the zephyr, put some seaweed, fuck with it. Hey, Susie, don't splash me, I'm trying to keep dry. Let's jump into the water. You are listening to Asheville FM, WSFMLP 103.3 Asheville. This is Radioactive Kids. Twist 
song was by Little Miss Anne featuring Mr. Cookie Jar and Ronnie Boy Kids. That song was about a fruit from the Philippines called calamansi and it's called calamansi twist. Yes, super fun stuff and maybe the only song written about that particular fruit. I don't know. Um Probably not, actually. Um, but the only song we've ever played about that particular fruit, for sure. Um, before that, y'all, before that, we heard a song by Birds of a Feather, which is a new super group consisting of Little Miss Anne and Susie Shelton. And that song also featured Mr. Cookie Jar and Ronnie Boy Kids. Their uh, debut single, uh, B- Birds of a Feather debut single uh, is called "Jump Into the Water." They'll have a new they'll, they'll they'll have an album out pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Yes, indeed. And we start off that set with another song that just features Mister Cookie Jar on his lonesome. By again, again, that song was called "Thank You, Teacher" on Radioactive Kids. Oh yeah, we're having so much fun on today's show. I think. All right, folks, we are having a great time on today's show, and coming up in about 23 minutes or so, we will be interviewing Beppy, who has a brand new album out called Reset, and it is a lot of fun. I can't wait to chat with her about her music. So let's start off with uh, some songs from the album. This first song is called, it's called, it's called, uh, uh, Sneeze! Many years ago, as legend has it, there was a man that knew a girl who had a dog named Gorby, and Gorby made an unfortunate mistake. Gorby decided to hold in a sneeze. When Gorby held in that sneeze, he flew so high, right over the fence, right over the house, and right out of the neighborhood. Gorby flew so far that it took three weeks to find him. So here's my message to you. Don't be like Gorby. Release the sneeze. You'd think a sneeze would be a breeze, but not when it's 
drop it, hold it, stop it, give it, drop it, hold it, stop it, give it, drop it, hold it, hold it, hold it, stop it. Told my parents I wanted a dog, and now I have one. I thought that it would be so cute, easy and fun. But I'm zany and I run like a maniac I'm giving you kisses but you never like to pay me back How come you never let me sleep on a bed? Is it cause one time I fell asleep on top of your head? And every time we walk you're always holding me back It's almost like you don't wanna run after that cat
Yes, indeed. That was I Need to Dance by Beppy from her new album, Reset. Before that, we heard Stop It. Also, we heard the title track, Reset, and we started the, the, that set off with Sneeze by Beppy on Radioactive Kids. Beppy herself will be calling us up in just a few minutes, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's talk about some plants on Radioactive Kids.
Cause if you don't get hit, then your team can't fall. When you go outside, beware of the sun. And if you keep your pants on, you won't burn your bum. Before you hop in the car on vacation mode, make sure you take a big pee, then hit the road. That's some good advice. Um, That's some great advice. I don't know. I give really good advice. It's okay, I guess. always gets the worm so if you're a worm sleep in if you ever feel a little rumble in your tummy you may have had too much of that yummy yummy an apple a day keeps the doctor away unless you get sick then you should go anyway that's some good advice really it's some solid advice that's it? i give the best advice it's really not that good Certainly confident, I'll give you that. sunlight is refracted or bent as it enters a raindrop, then internally reflected off the back of the drop and refracted again as it exits, separating the sunlight into its various colors. This process creates the iconic arc of colors that we see in the sky after rain showers. That was What Are Rainbows Made Of by Beppy from her new album Reset. Before that, we heard Good Advice and Give me a little time. And we also started that set off with plants. And I am very happy to have Beppy herself on the air with me right now. Hello, hello. Hi, thank you for having me. 
Awesome, awesome. So we are, of course, here to ch- chat about this brand new album. Uh, I wanted to start the, the interview by saying, so this is your sixth album for kids uh, that that you've been making. So so I wanted to, to ask, what's it like to have six albums out over a, a period of, of quite a few years? And and how has your music like changed and evolved over that time? What do you think? Well, it feels pretty amazing. Sometimes I don't really even know how I got here. (laughs) Um, (laughs) You get started with one album, and it's so exciting, and then you decide to do a second, and everything just kind of grows and grows. And I'm really lucky to have had the opportunity to make music as I have had. So I feel really happy but also really privileged to be in a position where I can I have space, right, to create, and I have the support of a team to help me do that. So it feels really, really good, but it definitely has been also a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. And, and like, what do you think, uh, is your music, like, the same as when you started out? Or how, how has it changed o- over the years that you've been uh, making music oh, yeah. and making albums? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think there's, like, two sides of this, right, because I I am me, mm-hmm. so my music is, is me. It resonates who I am and and my messages and my connections that I'm trying to make with children and my audiences are still so strong and so true to to my personality. Mm -hmm. But on the other side of it, I've been able to evolve musically. And I think as you release albums, you gain confidence in your abilities and confidence Uh. in your style and confidence and stuff. So you decide to push yourself in, in areas in some areas and this album particularly I pushed myself vocally. Oh! Way more. Yeah. I tried, like, Plants has this really cool punk rock vibe, and I'm doing some really cool um, vocal fills and runs, and um, I Need to Dance. I was doing harmonies that had ninth chords in them, and I was really pushing myself to the to a point where I had never sung stuff like that before. I'd never sang in those styles. I had never tried those harmonies I had never sang such high notes on a record before so um, it was really really fun because I was able to challenge myself and I think it shows in the music you know it comes across as as bigger and brighter and um, more alive than I've ever been so what an exciting place to be at that's awesome and it's awesome that you're like still trying new things after um after this many albums and 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 you feel uh, so g- good about where you are um musically so i i wanted to ask so uh, of course you know this this album has all sorts of uh, different uh songs and s- subjects you know ranging from silly to serious but i wanted to 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 talk uh for a moment about the two songs on the album that kind of like talk about like mental health stuff which which of course is a uh, re- reset and give me a little time so how did you end up uh writing that one Zane? And what do you uh, think about making uh, mental health uh, songs and media for kids in general? Oh, yeah. I feel like my my, my mission overall is to connect with kids, right? Mm-hmm. To kind of see what are kids going through? How can I connect with them? What are things that will really help them, resonate with them, get them motivated? Um, and I have three kids and I teach kids, so I'm, I'm actively working with kids all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and Anxiety is so big. Um, there's so many, so many little ones with really big, big, big anxieties happening. So Give Me a Little Time was a song that I wrote um, to address that. And it was a lot of anxiety that around, surrounding grown-ups and our expectations on, on little ones. Mm-hmm. Um, so this song it isn't just for little kids, right? It, it is for grown-ups as well. And I've had mm-hmm. so many people reach out to me and say, I cried when I listened to that song. I wow. thought it was for me, you know? Oh. So it's really beautiful when a song can kind of cut to a message that does talk about uh, mental well-being, but it has somehow transcended mm-hmm. <laughs> beyond my target audience. <laughs> um, and I and I love that because it's this whole, you know, it's me rushing my little one to tie their shoes so that we could get out the door quicker because we need to make it to a place. and. And at the end of the day, I mean, I settled into this a long time ago, that there's nothing more important than that moment with my little one. The getting to the place on time, won't, nobody will die that day. We're just going to school. If we're a minute late, that's not going to matter. What's going to matter is how I 
treated that situation where my little one needed me to be patient and kind and caring. So that's what that song is about. That's awesome. Yeah. Re- I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to talk about Reset now. Yes, yeah. yes, please. <laughs> reset, was, um, <laughs> reset was, oh, I love that one. This one is the one that um, I was the most proud of on this album because it has been such a useful resource, this song in the end. Um, especially for me in my life that, okay, is this something that is problematic or do I just need to reset? Mm -hmm. Is this an issue in this relationship or is this in this situation? Am I having a bad, you know, am I put myself in a really bad situation or is this just a bad day? Mm -hmm. So I I really wanted to kind of help kids work through that. And so I wanted to write a song that would help. And it has been working, and I'm getting so much positive feedback about how, you know, we've been framing this this tool in our home that, like, I just need a reset, and we sing the chorus together. And my kids will just sing that chorus with me, and it will literally change our whole vibe, you know, mm-hmm. that, yeah, I'm having a bad day. I can't do my homework right now. We just need to take a step away. Instead of pushing, pushing, pushing ourselves to the brink of, you know, totally stressed, we can take a minute and reset. So that's what those two songs are about. I'm really, really excited that they're starting to have an impact on lives, you know? That's awesome. I love it so much. And then I I did want to mention, because in addition to this new album that just came out, you just came out with a picture book based on a song from an earlier album of yours. So can you talk a little bit about uh, that picture book? I can, yeah. So that one's called The Cookie Pirate. Yes. It's, it coinc- it's inspired by, coincides with a song from my last album, mm-hmm. um, and by the same name, Cookie Pirate. It's a sea chanty that turns into like a 90s dance mix party, so <laughs> that's pretty fun. Um, but it's such a cool little adventure based on uh, this tall tale of imagination that this, this little one is, is, you know, the cookies are all gone, and I don't know how they disappeared. Um, so they're speculating that this pirate came into town and raided the town and took all the cookies. And it's such a fun adventure with a really neat little twist at the end. And it's my second children's book. So my first one was called Dynamite, but I worked with the same illustrator on both of them, Robin oh Black. And Robin was just amazing. He brought these characters to life in such a vivid, bright way. Um, and it's so creative and fun. So um, and just yesterday, I had an animated music video for the book come out as well on YouTube. So you awesome. can go check out the Kiki Pirate on my YouTube channel too now. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, you're you're, you're doing so so, so many. D- d- different things. I love it. And I did want to mention because, of co- co- course, we already talked about, you know, like more serious songs of the album, but like there's very silly songs of the album too. Like, of course, Sneeze, um, w- which, which o- opens the album. And I wanted to ask because it's, 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 it's interesting because it, it really feels like it, like the, the beginning, especially, uh, with the dog named G- G- Gorby and stuff might be based on like a kid's story. So I wonder how you wrote that one. Yeah, that's a good question. That just came out of my brain one day. (laughs) Sometimes I have all these cute little anecdotes and stories that are inspired by my real life, right? Or by (laughs) close people I have that have real life events and I I get inspired. But this one is just something I made up. It just came out right. And so some of my songs are just silly and it's just creative and it's just fun. And and some of them are really meaningful and, and have these really deep lines of connection and and I think if I have a mix of both, for me, that's a success. Mm-hmm. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. So I, I wanted to ask, of, of course, um, uh, you know, you, you just came out with this album and just came out with the book. But what is next for you as an artist? Um, because you, you could do pretty much anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I love to just perform in the summer. So I like how this album came out. It just came out on April 12th, so um, now I'll do some touring and some performing over the summer here uh, in Alberta, my my province in Canada here. I'm just going to stay vocally um, and just do some performing and and enjoy that for a little while. And then usually that leads into my whole cycle of writing is kind of like, okay, I, I start performing and then sometimes I write and I start to test out new material while I'm performing oh. and then that leads into the next season and then that kind of leads into the next album and then I have this whole 
cycle of writing and, and recording and then performing and writing, recording, performing. So I'm entering into the performing season of my uh, BAPI life cycle. I'm super pumped about that. But I think that also I might need to take some time to have a reset <laughs> and have a bit of a break before I jump into the next cycle because this one was, was pretty intense. It happened really fast. So mm. I don't know if I'm interested in, in doing things so fast again the next time around. Um, maybe just take some time for a reprise, but um, there's always new exciting things. <laughs> take your own advice, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Awesome, uh, awesome. So, so where can folks uh, find all your uh, music and awesomeness if they want to check it out? I always encourage them to head over to my website, bettymusic.com. Um, but all of my music is available on every streaming platform. So on your preferred streaming platform, you can go ahead and find resets on there. Um, and the book is available on Amazon and also on my website. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we look forward to hearing much more from you in the future, and I'm sure we'll talk again soon. I really appreciate your support, Sagan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. This is Radioactive Kids on Asheville FM, and coming up next, we have a new single by The Thinking Caps on Radioactive Kids. Kids, let's rock and roll. We've got a special song for all the moms we know. They're superheroes, yes, it's true. They lift us up when we're feeling blue. They cheer us on at every game we play. With breakfast ready to start our day. Tie our laces so we can run They're the best, they're number one Who are moms? I'm a mother lover and you You're a mother lover too We are mother lovers We're all mother lovers shape our lives from the very start and they do it all with all their heart they chase away our monsters fix our wounds and dry our tears they know what's best what's right and wrong so go and get your mom and make her dance along Singing us some lullabies They help us sleep when we close our eyes Who are moms? I'm a mother lover and you You're a mother lover too We are mother lovers We're all mother lovers I'm a mother lover and you You're a mother lover too We are mother lovers Too, and we are mother lovers. We're all mother lovers. I'm a mother lover. That was The Thinking Caps singing a song called Mother Lovers that they 
uh, are about to release in celebration of Mother's Day. They sent me that song, and I figured I should play it. Thank you so much. All right, and before that, we heard an interview with Beppy. Thanks so much for calling us up and chatting about your awesome music on Radioactive Kids. We are almost out of time on the Radioactive Kids show for today. It has been great hanging out with y'all once again on the air. And stay tuned if you're listening to Asheville FM for La Neta Voces coming up next. If you're not listening to Asheville FM, stay tuned for whatever magical magic might be coming up next, wherever you might be listening. Let's finish off with a new album for kids by Debbie Derryberry, who you may know as the voice of like so many like iconic cartoon characters. She also uh, makes music for kids, and I uh, got a hold of her new album. It's called Gotta Go Green. It's all songs inspired by environmentalism and stuff like that. Um, We're going to play Gotta Go Green, Recycle, and a Little Tiny Molecules of H2O. And then we're probably going to have a little bit of time left over at the end of the show, so I don't know what we're going to play. We're going to play something else random. I'm just going to pick it on air. All right. Thank you so much for listening. As always, I am Sagan, this is Radioactive Kids, and I will see you on the radio next week. Gotta go green, 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 gotta go go green. Clean it on up. Gotta go green, 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 gotta go go green. Let's clean the world up. Let's clean the world up. Let's clean the world up. Clean it.
It's a little mystery that I want to know Where do they come from? Where do they go? Those little tiny molecules of H2O Oh, 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 oh Walking through the park on a rainy wet day Wondering how the water makes it wet that way Where do all the little drops of water
<laughs> no, no, no. Hey, hey, don't want to go. Jake, it's really good fun. Nah, nah, Remember when nah, that nah. pachycephalosaurus hey, was throwing psychads hey, at us in the cafeteria? Yeah, what a bonus. I said, I was like, I'm not nah, 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 nah. Hey, I can't wait to see the fun. Hey, it's going to be a band go. called The Asteroids playing. <laughs> We're going out with a band. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Have a fun nuclear winter. I said, nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, we don't want to go. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, we don't want to go. Don't want to go. I said, nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, hey. We don't want to go. We don't want to go.